The following function gives the value of a car in dollars t years after the purchase. So we're given f of t equals 21,000 times e raised to the power of negative 0.155t. So because the given exponential function has base e, or it's in the form a times e raised to the power of kt, by analyzing the function, we can determine the starting value of the car, or initial value, which is a. So the car's value started at $21,000. And then the value of k indicates whether we have exponential growth or decay, and it also indicates the continuous exponential growth or decay rate. So notice in our function, k is equal to negative 0 0.155. So because k is negative, we know we have exponential decay, or in this case, depreciation. And notice as a percentage, this would be negative 15.5%. And our continuous depreciation rate would be the absolute value of k. And therefore, the continuous depreciation rate is 15.5%. So for part A, we're asked to determine the continuous depreciation rate, which we can determine by analyzing the given function. But then we're also asked to give the equivalent annual depreciation rate. To do this, we actually want to write the given function with base e as an exponential function in this form here, where the form f of x equals a times b raised to the power of x, where the base b equals 1 plus r, where the value of r would give us the annual depreciation rate. So if we want these two exponential functions to be equivalent, notice how that means b to the x would have to be equal to e to the power of kx, which means the base b must equal e to the k. So we'll use this equation here to determine the base b. Then once we determine b, we can determine the value of r, which will give us the annual depreciation rate. So beginning with the equation b equals e to the k, we would have b equals e raised to the power of negative 0 0.155. So now we'll go to the calculator and get our decimal approximation for b. So second natural log brings up e raised to the power of negative 0.155 and enter. So notice that b to four decimal places would be approximately 0 0.8564. And now to determine the value of b, since b equals 1 plus r, notice that r is equal to b minus 1. So if r is equal to b minus 1, we'd have r equals 0 0.8564 minus 1, which equals negative 0 0.1436, which notice as a percentage would be negative 14.36%. So because r is negative, once again, we know we have exponential decay. And the absolute value of r here gives us the annual depreciation rate, which would be 14.36%. So this tells us that having a continuous depreciation rate of 15.5% per year is equivalent to having an annual depreciation rate of 14.36% per year. And now for the second part of this question, we're asked to write the given exponential function with base e in the form f of t equals a times b raised to the power of t. And because we know a equals 21,000, and we know b is approximately 0 0.8564, we have all the information we need. We would have f of t equals 21,000 times b, which is approximately 0 0.8564, raised to the power of t. Now before we go, let's use the graphing calculator to compare the given exponential function to the exponential function that we just found here to verify they are equivalent. To do this, we'll press y equals, cut out any old functions, and then in y1 we'll enter the given function, which is 21,000 times e raised to the power of negative 0 0.155, we use x instead of t, enter. And now we'll enter our second function in y2. So again, 21,000 times 0 0.8564, close parenthesis raised to the power of x. 
And now we'll use the table feature to compare the values of y1 and y2 for the same inputs or x values. Though we should be aware that because we did round this value of b, there might be a slight difference between y1 and y2, but they should be extremely close. So if we press second graph, and we compare y1 and y2, notice how they're almost exactly the same values, but of course as x increases, there's a slight difference, again, just because we did round the value of b. But from this table of values, this is enough information to verify that, that these two functions are essentially equivalent. I hope you found this helpful.